So I am up here at the boat and today is the first day of my anti-fouling project. So with that said, let's get dressed into something more suitable. Ta-da! How do I look? <laughs> Pretty cool, I think. To get started, what I'm actually going to do is use this scraper because the, uh, the paint on there is quite flaky. So we're going to go over with this first and then get in on some sander action. So day one of the anti-fouling is complete and this has got to be one of the worst jobs I think a boat owner can do. Uh, it's absolutely horrendous, we're getting absolutely covered even with all our protection gear on. Uh, but yeah, we've made quite good progress today. Tim's gone ahead with the scraping which has really helped and then I've been following behind with the sander. But yeah, that is it for day one. So I've got my gear back on and I'm ready to do some more sanding today. So you can see the bits that I have done uh, versus the bit that I haven't done. So the aim is just to get everything as sanded as possible today and hopefully get through most of it. I think Tim's gonna help me a bit later on in the day once he's finished what he's doing. Uh, so yeah, back to sanding. It's jobs like this where I really question our choice in hobby. This is just relentless doing all this sanding and I'm still nowhere near done. So um, Tim, when he gets back, he's gonna hopefully take over for a bit and hopefully break the back of it and get as much done as we can. So this is going to be our final day of sanding and prepping the hull. Now yesterday Tim was an absolute trooper and he sanded so much of the boat and then he actually decided to go over it with the jet wash. Now in hindsight we should have done that earlier in the week because it did such a good job getting off all of the like powdery parts of the paint and so in places we just got this like rough material that's left which is what I'm going to go over today with the sander. So whilst Tim is finishing off the sanding, what I'm gonna do is go around with some tape and actually mark out the top of the second red line. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand that off. And this is a good opportunity for us to tape it out now. So we've at least got a guide for when we do the proper taping later on.
So we are finally done sanding the boat and we've just cleaned it and now Tim is just redoing the silicon around the keel whilst I go and tape out ready for painting. So after several days of painful, painful sanding, it's time to actually splash some paint on the bottom. Uh, we've gone for the Temple Classic uh, anti-fouling in black. Uh, we kind of wanted a grey, but we just couldn't get grey anywhere. Uh, so we thought black was about as close to our grey colour scheme. So yeah, let's put this on and hopefully it's going to uh, cover up all of our poor workmanship up to now. So we have finished the first coat of paint here and it has already transformed the boat and it's looking pretty awesome. So we've got a couple hours to wait now before we put the next coat on and then the last thing we're going to do is just do the reveal where we take the tape off. Ready for the big line reveal. in Tim's area. Look what he did. Bye. See? Never happened. finally finished doing all the anti-fouling on the boat and it's looking pretty good actually we're really pleased with how it looks and how it's turned out and yeah now we don't have to do it again for another few years and so that is it for this video if you're interested in how much this part of the project costs there will be details right here on the screen as to how much we spent on that thank you very much for watching if you like the video please click that thumbs up button and if you haven't already and would like to follow along with our journey please subscribe for more videos and we will see you in the next one